Hello basketball coaches and basketball players, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training and today I'm going to give you some run and gun basketball plays that you can use in your next basketball game. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. If you're new to this channel, on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button, subscribe, and well today I'm going to talk to you about some run and gun basketball plays. These are basketball plays that take less than about 5 to 6 seconds to run. So it's quick, quick hitters that you want to get a quick easy point, maybe it's near the end of the game. Or you have a lot of really great 3 point shooters and maybe a couple of good offensive rebounders where you can just run off five second basketball plays and get as many shots as possible in a game. This is actually a strategy that a lot of coaches use and a couple of coaches up here in Canada at the college level use this as well. Back when I was at Mohawk College, the coach used this, uh, this strategy a ton. And Alex Reese, which was a power forward player who could jack up three-point shots and was a really good offensive rebounder, he killed it with that team. So, let's get down to the clipboard. I'll show you some of these plays, and you can run this strategy with your team as well. So first, we're going to start with a play against a 2-3 zone. Now, this is a really easy zone to beat with the run-and-gun system. So what we're going to start with is our guys running down on offense. And what's going to happen to start is player 4, most likely, they're going to be cutting up top. We're going to have player 4 setting a screen on 2, 5 setting a screen on 3. We're going to have player 2. He is going to go down to the low post, and player 3 is going to do a high cut across. The idea behind this is now we're going to have player 2 also popping out to this wing. And we're going to have player 1 passing to player 3 who can take that shot. But if we have player 3 popping out to guard player 3, we have player 5 then crashing the boards, player 4 crashing the boards. If player 3 didn't have an open shot, he can go over past the player 2 who now has an open shot. Or possibly has an open lane to drive depending on where player 5 goes. If player 5 just cuts to the top, well then we have player 5 and player 4 filling the bottom. And now we have, again, player 5 cutting down middle where he can go for a layup. So there's quite a few different options. We have a 3-point option here, a 3-point, a mid-range option as well. And then a possible layup from player 2 or player 5. We have player 4 and 5 here for offensive rebounds if player 2 was to take the shot. Now in our next play, we're going to go up against a 3-2 zone. And what we're going to have is player 5. He is going to go and cut down towards the low post. And we're going to have player 4. He's going to be going down there as well. But he's going to be setting a screen for player 5. At the same time, we're going to have player 3. He's going to go curl around, set a screen on player 1. And player 2 is going to go out to that free throw line extended. Player 1 is going to use that screen. This is all at the same time. That's going to pull player 2 up. And player 5 is going to pop out. Now if player 5 is a good 3 point shooter. This would be fantastic for him. If not you could run it on the other side where you have other guards. Either way. Player 5 is going to be open for a 3 point shot. Now player 4 blue. He's going to be posting up player 4 red. For 1 that's sealing him. So that player 5 has a lot more time to take that shot. But player 3 is also going to be cutting down the middle of the key. Where player 3 may be open for a floater or a mid-range shot. So there's a few different options here. Player 2 would then crash this opposite side. And now we have offensive rebounders as well as multiple different options to take a shot. And this is a quick play that you could run under 5 or 6 seconds. Now coming down uh, off of a man-to-man -man defense, we can come down and have player 2 run down, set a screen on player 1. Player 1 could then use that screen and because player 2 is a guard, a lot of teams will think that he's just going to pop up, but he's going to roll towards the basket. Hopefully, if player 1 can, t uh, he's going to try and take the 3 point shot. If not, player 2 may be open cutting towards the rim, in which case he may have an open layup, unless player 5 comes over to play help defense, in which case we can pass the ball out to player 5 for a 3, or he can be cutting baseline for a layup. There's a few Few different options here as well but this is just a quick simple screen and roll offense five out that you can run that's a quick hitter for your run and gun offense now i'm going to show you one more against the two three zone just because i really like this play so we're going to have player the defense most likely playing like this and what we will have is player one is going to set a screen on player two we're then going to have player four cutting down 
and setting a screen on player 5. The reason for this is we're going to have player 2 dribble out, which will pull player 4 up, and we're going to have player 5 curling down, using player 4 as a screen, and he's going to be popping out to this mid-range area, where player 2 can then pass to player 5 for that mid-range shot. Now these are some really quick hitters that you can run with your team. Uh, simple, easy offense, you can run them in the last second of the game, or you can run them as an actual strategy. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you have, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.